what I would do is try to do a planar map. Uh, planar map just so that you have something, you know, showing the, the surface from the front. When we apply the planar map, it is kind of okay what we're seeing here. However, when you look at the projection, it's kind of sideways. So what you can do is click over there and on the little hair across uh, red at the bottom and then click on the rotate tool and I would say to put the tool, you know, just facing this way and now it's kind of, it's actually facing, you know, to the front and I don't know if you see the, you know, the the outline of the projection that is kind of like a, re a long rectangle over here. Um, let's turn the checker map on to see what's happening there. Uh, because it's so big, you know, it got very, very, dis very, very tiny, very distorted. So, oh, let's get out of that. And let's get the rotate tool. That's what we want. Just make it smaller so that we can see it response a little bit more like what we're seeing here. Uh, double check that you're getting uh, squares on that checker map. Okay, and then temporarily we can move it here for now. And then we'll, we can work more uh, as needed as we come back. Okay, so that's a good amount of distribution. Okay, that's, that's okay. So we got that. Um, the leg, I will say, let's go back to face mode. And uh, I would say I would I would do it by size. You could also do it front and back, kind of like half the front, half the back, uh, or you could do it sideways. So you know it doesn't either either approach is not you know one is not better than the other. I'm going to use the front and back approach. Okay, so I'm going to start selecting here. Remember, you can use this nice tool also to add to your selection, painting faces, but because the model is so low resolution, you know, it's, we can just click on the faces. I mean, low polygon, that's what I meant. Okay. So, we missed one here, one here. I'm just trying to get the front, and I'm going to stop there somewhere by the ankle, because the feet, I'm going to map a little bit different. So, let me select this one too. That's about that's about right. Uh, we don't have a, a a cut right in the middle of the of the leg, so we'll have to decide, you know, where to cut it. So that's okay. That's that's like the front of it. And look how scattered that is on the on the UV map. Let's do a planar map. There you go. You have the leg there. It's a little distorted, if you notice. It's kind of like sideways, but it's because the projection is sideways. You see the projection here? So let's click on that little hair cross over there and rotate tool. And let's just continue rotating until we see it somewhere there, uh, facing front on the, on the UV editor. Um, Okay, good. Then let's scale it up, scale it down. Let's click on the scale tool and scale it down, down, so that we only so that we can see it here. Uh, I might rotate it a little bit. There you go. So that is not as skewed as it looked. And uh, by the way, I'm going to turn on the checker map to see what's happening every time I move anything like that. Okay. Looks good. We missed one face here that could have been on the on the map. Oh, okay. I deselected it. Let's move it away so that we have it away from the other points, okay? And now you just kind of go around looking to see where you have to, you know, do some some work. Um, there's some, let me see, some, some of these points could be, uh, you know, worked out a little bit more. So you could go on the relax tool. And actually, let's select all this part and see what happens when we go to the relax tool. And smooth, actually. And, uh, it looks like it distorts them a little bit too much if we start moving them. So let's leave them there. And what we can do is try the approach that we use with the shoulder pad, you know, kind of manually moving and scaling things. 